Tonight, we are, how, we are proud to have with us and equally proud to honor our final 2006 inductee of the inaugural class of the Long Island Music Hall of Fame, my friend and one of the greatest living musicians that this country has ever produced, in the world has ever produced, ladies and gentlemen, Billy Joel. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. You got to be starving by now, right? Everybody's hungry. Uh, and we thank you, and uh, congratulations to the Long Island Music Hall of Fame. Uh, this is a good idea. It's about time. Um, in the early months of the Second World War, before America entered that conflict, Albert Einstein was living on Long Island. He had a house on the beach in the town of Southold, and at that time he wrote a letter to the then President Franklin Delano Roosevelt outlining the theory of nuclear fission and warning that with the scientific expertise available and enough of the material necessary to construct a reactor, Nazi Germany would be able to build an atomic weapon and dominate the world. Because of Einstein's letter, Roosevelt authorized the Manhattan Project, which resulted in the bombs that were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, bringing the war to an end, changing the world forever. Now, I have this picture in my mind of Einstein sitting there in this peaceful cottage on this primordial sand spit of Nassau Point, listening to like a Beethoven string quartet, and looking out at a spectacular sunset in the western sky over the beautiful Peconic Bay, and envisioning the apocalypse. It's a definitive paradox. Uh, to me, it encapsulates the dichotomy that is Long Island. When you juxtapose the rural nature of Suffolk County, the most agricultural county in New York State, with the urban behemoth of New York City, the largest metropolis in the world, only 100 miles to the west, you're going to get an unusual dynamic. That's Long Island, a clash of cultures, a rub of ideas, an area in constant transition and flux, a place where identity is difficult to define. It's an island of paradoxes. And what other region has been home to people as diverse as Winslow Homer, Herman Melville, Walt Whitman, John Philip Sousa, George Gershwin, Louis Armstrong, and Joey Buttafuoco? <laughs> now, where else do you have this, the great gray ash pile of Queens and the eloquence of F. Scott Fitzgerald, the tedious uniformity of Levittown, and the misanthropic brilliance of Lenny Bruce? The aristocratic seclusion of Kings Point and the Yankee Doodle Dandy Everyman of George M. Cohan. The oppressive strip mall architecture of Jericho Turnpike and the indomitable humanity of Harry Chapin. The soothing surf on the beautiful beaches in the Hamptons and the shattering sound of the psychedelic soul music of Vanilla Fudge. This is an island of extremes and our music reflects that. Just listen to the names of the bands that played in the clubs near those neatly trimmed hedges and manicured lawns. The Rich Kids, The Vagrants, The Hassles, The Illusion, the Young Rascals, and Twisted Sister. We went east with our families and west by ourselves. We dated North Shore girls because they had cars, and we dated South Shore girls to have fun. I'm very grateful that I had the opportunity to grow up here and experience the influence of this dynamic. I was born in the Bronx, but I consider myself a native son, and everything I've ever done has been influenced by this place. I'm an Islander. And I just want to say, when we were playing in the 60s, and there were all these bands on Long Island, we used to read a lot and hear a lot about the other places in America. Not about Long Island, but about other places, like the San Francisco sound, but none. You know, um, Big Brother in the Holding Company, and uh, Quicksilver Messenger Service, and um, The Grateful Dead, and uh, The Jefferson Airplane. Now, let me tell you something. Any band on Long Island would wipe the floor with that crap. <laughs> you 
They just had better pot out there. So I'm an Islander. I'm proud to be an Islander. And sometimes I take some heat for that. I'm sure you have too. And where do we get that from? Mostly it comes from people in the city. You know, are you from the island? Are you from Long Island? I don't know anybody who talks like that. Are you from Long Island? Well, just take a look at the map of the New York area and you'll see that what comprises the New York Bight, B-I-G-H-T, on the Atlantic seaboard is actually an exploded archipelago of islands. Aside from the Bronx, every New York City borough is on an island. Manhattan Island, Staten Island, Brooklyn and Queens are on Long Island. Uh, you got Bedloe's Island, you got Randall's Island, Liberty Island, Ellis Island, Roosevelt Island, Rikers Island, Governor's Island, Ward's Island, Coney Island, City Island, Fire Island, Morgan's Island, Hart Island, Robbins Island, Shelter Island, Gardner's Island, Plum Island. And there's that little thing at the end, don't forget, Fisher's Island. And many more, that's an archipelago. So the next time you're in Manhattan and someone says, are oh, you from Long Island? Are oh, you from the island? You can say to them, yes, I am. And you're from an island too, only mine is a lot longer than yours is. <laughs> so don't take any shit from anybody. Thank you. Let's eat.